Hey guys, greetings from Zadar, Croatia. Yes, we are still in Croatia. We are lingering here as long as possible. So we've <laughs> finally reached the Dalmatian coast. Zadar is our first stop. It's just wonderful. We're sort of visiting in the off season and yeah. we're loving it. The cooler temperatures, less crowds, and yes. just chilling out here. It's been so wonderful. So yeah, we've only been here one day, but yeah. we're already loving it. So we're gonna start filming and take you guys on a little bit of a tour, show you some of the highlights, show you a bit of the food, and and yeah, let's get started. Let's check it out. Our first stop was Queen Jelena Marijevka Park, which has the distinction of being the oldest public park in Croatia. The park looks over the land gate, which is the main entrance to the old town, so it seemed like a good place to start our visit. So we found a little park to visit directly behind from the five wells. And it's so cool here. It's so quiet, so peaceful. They have a whole bunch of benches where you can just sit down, relax, stroll the gardens. There's also like a little restaurant or a cafe not too far from here. So you can actually hear some jazz music streaming over. So yeah, it's a great little start to a fun day of sightseeing. Okay, next stop, where are we? Next up, we are visiting five different wells. Yeah. And it would have been a really important source of water, and it was uh -huh. also built by the Venetians, so it has a lot of history behind it. Yeah, and these wells are almost like quintuplets. Yes. Identical. Exactly. There they are. During the 16th century, the Venetians helped Zadar withstand the Turkish sieges by building a large water cistern with five wellheads, giving this square its name. Among the ruins of the Forum, you might notice there's one particular Roman column that still stands intact. This one is called the Shame Post, which during the Middle Ages was used to chain and humiliate people who had committed small crimes. Alright guys, so our next stop here is the Roman Forum, which basically feels like an open-air museum. Like, you can just walk around here and see old Roman columns and like just stone blocks, pieces of old buildings really. You can also see the foundations of old buildings right behind me. So yeah, it's a pretty cool stop and this is located right in front of St. Donat's Church which is right behind me. It's a little bit bright but that's where we're heading next. So we are now inside St. Donatus Church, if that's how it's pronounced. It was 20 kuna per person to come in here. And this used to be a church, but it's not used as one anymore. So yeah, we kind of have like bare bones. It's cool, like you can really enjoy the architecture. And it's super echoey here because it's empty. But yeah, we'll take you on a full tour of the place. The Church of St. Donatus sits in the middle of the Roman Forum and it dates back to the beginning of the 9th century. The church was built in the Byzantine style in a circular shape, which may seem a bit strange today, but that was typical of the early medieval construction in Dalmatia. Over the years, this church has seen many uses, from warehouse to museum, but these days it hosts concerts where you can really enjoy its acoustics. Climbing up to the next level. We're going to continue to the bell tower, which is just next door. So that is our next stop. So if you're not claustrophobic and willing to climb 180 steps, you can go to the top of this tower, which is exactly what we're going to do. We're going to get some great views of Zadar, probably the best views in the city. How much were the tickets? They were 15 each, 15 kuna, so like Excellent. about two euros each. Let's go. Let's do it. 
So I thought we'd be going up those narrow stairs the whole way, but it's only just for a small section. Yeah. yeah. We've got a much easier staircase. There we go. There we that go. looks manageable. Very off you go. Located right next to St. Donatus, the bell tower is actually part of St. Anastasia's Cathedral. Climbing this Romanesque bell tower is not for the faint of heart, especially once you reach the spiraling metal staircase on the last floor. But if you make it, you're rewarded with views of the town and the marina. So I did not make it up. That was too scary. I'm normally not the brave one who goes to the top, but I uh, made somehow it. made it up. How the was last, it? The last little section was a little terrifying. Yes. But it was amazing when you get up to the top. Actually, when you get up to the top, the views are stunning and you don't have those screens anymore. Yeah. And the other nice thing too is you, it doesn't feel that scary at the very top because there's just no way you could fall over. Like, yeah, yeah, so all the shots you're going to be seeing, those yes. were taken by Sam. <laughs> the water and our next attraction is the Sea Oregon and I remember hearing about this place years ago um, so it's pretty cool if you can see right behind me underneath those steps there's a whole bunch of pipes that like run into the sea so as the waves come in it kind of creates this like orchestra so if you listen carefully it almost sounds like whales or like I don't know some mythical yeah, I agree sea with you. creature yeah. so <laughs> it's pretty cool that mixing in with the sound of the waves and the sun's going down the sun's going down and we also have a nice breeze as well. Yeah, so. it's super relaxing. <laughs> I know, I don't want to get up. <laughs> I know, this is the best way to like wrap up a day of filming. So, it is time for actually lunch and dinner because it's the middle of the afternoon yeah so we are we didn't really have a proper lunch today let's be honest we were just kind of snacking at home before yeah. we left and we've been filming most of the day mm -hmm. so we've worked up an enormous appetite we are so ready to Ooh, eat yes. so we have a favorite restaurant yeah. in the city this is going to be our third time going there yeah, and yeah. yeah the food here we're, is amazing we already know what we're gonna get so we're all set finally here and no surprises here we've ordered the truffle gnocchi this is our third time having this dish and we have not tired of it it's so good so it comes in a cream sauce it with is just, truffles it's, oh wonder, my it's wonderful taking to any level really. yeah yeah so you've got like the truffles in the sauce and then you have the real truffles on top and then you have like the grated cheese it's just uh, yeah. amazing this is so good that I could be having a really bad day and if I came here and had this. <laughs> no, I'm a good old butter. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> basically. Okay, so in we go for dish number two. Yes. What are we having? So we are having black risotto mm -hmm. and that comes with cuttlefish. Cuttlefish. And my gosh, that ink is something else. Look at that, it, leaving smears on the side. Can you yeah. see that? I have never seen a cuttlefish in my life. I have no idea what it looks like. I feel like I should Google it, but maybe mm. after the meal. Let's not ruin it. Oh my gosh, it's so good. Yeah. Again, it's really creamy. And also the cuttlefish is so tender. Yeah. It almost melts in your mouth. I thought it would be more chewy, but it's not. Mm -hmm. That amazing meal came to 32 euros for the two mains, two glasses of red wine and two desserts. The truffle gnocchi was our favorite truffle dish in Croatia. So this place is worth seeking out. All right, guys. So next up, we are walking towards the Adriatic Sea to go watch the sunset. I sort of forgot to bring my sunglasses today of all days, so I'm slightly blind at the moment because we're walking directly towards the sun, but it should be beautiful. I actually caught a little bit of the sunset yesterday from our kitchen window, and my gosh, the colors are spectacular. We had like pinks and blues and purples, so yeah, almost there. When it comes to sunset, there are quite a few spots to choose from. We really enjoyed the pier right across from the Roman Forum. However, the Sea Organ is another popular spot.
If you do go to the Sea Organ for Sunset, you can also check out the Greeting to the Sun, which is another unusual art installation. It may not look like much during the day, but the solar-powered work of art lights up in an array of colors once the sun goes down. And lastly, we leave you with a few scenes of Zadar at night. We hope you enjoyed this video and we'll see you in the next one as we continue our travels in Croatia.